What's up everybody? Derek here and today we are down on the creek to do a little bit of fishing right after work. Got myself a beetle spin right there. These things are awesome. Picked it up at Walmart. This creek's flowing pretty good. It's clear. It's got some grass and hopefully it's got some big bass. So let's go down into this jungle right here and see if we can go catch some. So let's go fishing. Look at this jungle down in here. Oh, there's fish already. Already seeing them. I'm, I'm already needing to get to fishing. I'm gonna have to do it for my knees because these trees, I guess. Oh, got one right there. I don't know what that is, but oh, I think it's a big old red breast or bass. I'm not sure. Come here. Red breast. Dang. Look at the size of that thing. That is awesome. Man, he really took that thing. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, I think I can get it out. Got it. Oh, and almost took myself. That is a good one right there. Thanks, buddy. Woo. Oh, got one right there. I don't know if that's another red breast, but that's kind of fighting like one. Yeah, that's cool. They're smacking it over there. Thanks, buddy. Can we make it by? That wasn't too bad. Not really. It went from being shallow to getting a little bit deeper, so I know there's got to be some fish that are hiding out in here. Could be some good. Oh, we got something right there. First cast. Bass. Got us a bass. Come here, buddy. Yeah. We're catching them. That's the cool part. What is that? Three fish now? Not a bad little largey. Thanks, buddy. Oh, this looks awesome back in here. The cool thing about creeks like this is they open up into bigger spots a lot of the time. Kind of like right in front of me right now. Let's see if any's up there on the edge of this, of this grass. Oh, there's a bass right there. S smacked it right as soon as it, oh yeah. As soon as it hit the water, basically. That was cool. Oh. Well, there might be a bunch of them hanging out up there. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, that's a big old red breast. I can see it. Dang, that's a big one. Oh, that is so much fun. Man, they smack it when they hit it. Thank you, bud. Oh, there was another hit. I need to get back over here to this side. Oh, oh there is a big old car right underneath me. Man, that thing's like five foot long. Oh my gosh. Right as soon as it hit the water, I got one. And it's not coming up. Oh, bass. Not a bad size bass right here. Oh, better easy with this one. Not a bad size bass. I got to barely see him right there. Dang. Do not come up and throw it. Just let him fight it out. Not a bad one for in here. Not a bad one. I mean, it's a little bit skinny, but not too bad. Good little, I don't know, pound and a half for the creek. That's not too bad. Nice. All right, buddy. Oh, another 
bluegill. There's tons of bluegill in here. Got one right there. That's probably a bass. Yeah, a bass. Another one. Not a bad one. I mean, they're not huge, but oh, he just came off right there. Oh, I had one right there too. All right, I let him take it. Let it set. What do we, oh gosh, is that a red ear? That's a red ear, isn't it? I gotta look a little bit better here. Let's see. Um, dang, I can't tell. I don't see the red. Is that just a bluegill, guys? I don't have the spot right here. Man, that almost looks like a red ear to me. Or is that a, that's not a war mouth, is it? No, it, the mouth would be bigger. This, I don't know. This fish kind of confuses me. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think this one might be. I kind of want to go towards bluegill, but then again, red ear, but there's no red right here. All right, well, anyways. I am gonna call it a day. After work, coming down to the creek and catching bass and pan fish at a place that looks like this, couldn't get any better. But this beetle spin, they're so cheap at Walmart and they just flat out work. I mean, I don't even know how many bass I caught in the short amount of time or all those big pan fish. I mean, all of them were getting nailed by this thing. So I noticed that a lot of them were just nipping at it as I was retrieving little bitty ones and this and that but most every catch that I had was because this thing hit the water and I literally started getting those blades flashing and start retrieving it so just something to kind of key in on whenever you go fishing what are the fish doing are they doing it on the retrieve are they doing it on the drop I mean are you bringing it by structure or whatever and they're hitting it right as soon as it rubs up against something you got to key in on those little things and that's Kind of what I did, and I guess that's how you become a better fisherman in the long run. But let me know what you guys think about this little beetle spin. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And thanks for watching, you guys. And subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.